Starting in the 80s, along with the help of writer and artist Larry Todd, I took Vaughn's most undeveloped series, Cobalt 60, along with Vaughn's 20 pages of art and a small unused cast of characters. I turned it into a series of graphic novels, but the story wasn't finished till now. For those of you not familiar with Cobalt 60, it takes place in a post-apocalyptic Mad Max-like future where man's genius has sterilized our tiny planet and left a barren wasteland populated with what is left of mankind's dregs. Radio men and women and a plethora of mutant humans and animals deformed by years of exposure to the radioactive deserts that are our future. Cobalt 60 is heir to the human race. His family is considered the last of the genetic line in which no mutation is present. An evil mutated Prime Minister of Radio City, Strontium 90, assassinates Cobalt's family in an attempt to wipe out the bloodline and take power himself. Cobalt's mother is tipped off before the murderous coup and cast Cobalt into the desert as a child to be raised by extradited and outcast mutants. <laughs> Cobalt 60 hides his face, concealing his identity with a hood, and strikes out against his own people to protect and defend the mutant brethren who raised him. In the last comic, Cobalt was captured after an unprecedented bloodbath of violence and carnage. Exposed and dehooded, by the radio people, it was revealed that he was indeed the long-lost heir to the throne, much to the celebration of the radio peoples. Yet, Cobalt was a terrible king and felt strapped to the throne to the people he hates. That's where the new comic starts. This is the first Cobalt 60 comic I have published in years. This will be the sixth graphic novel in the series an 80-page story of Cobalt after he bears an heir with his queen, BBC, and escapes his bondage from the throne into the desert.